I don't know. I, I was going to make a joke about Pavlov and translations and conditional versus conditioned, but it's going to get lost on you unless you heard the other lectures, and I can't guarantee you've heard those other lectures. And <sighs> Anyway, so conditioned, motivating, operation. All right, so in other words, this is something you had to learn. You had to experience this in order for it to um, become valuable to you, to have an effect on you. That's the conditioned part, right? So a conditioned motivating operation is not something like food or water or sex or lack of those things. It would be more along the lines of like, man, cameraman and I haven't gone skiing slash snowboarding. I'll let you figure out who does what because, you know, you'll figure that out. Anyway, um, so we haven't gone up to the mountain in a while, and so it is probably pretty valuable for us to go to the mountain. I'll bet if we just said, bugger off, let's go to the mountain today, um, then I'll, I'll bet it would be quite fun, and we would enjoy it well, especially since there was some fresh powder just recently. So, um, so it would probably be great. So a conditioned motivating operation, since it's been so long, we've been deprived of doing that sort of thing, whatever it is, it's going to increase its value, most likely. Again, it's not its not a classical, it's not a, an unconditioned, so it's not like food, water, sex stuff. It's other things. Um, this ties in with the response deprivation hypothesis, pre-mac principle, blah, 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 blah. You can work all those things together. They all interact.